Here we are in the White Horse in Hampstead. As you can see, it's normally quite a subdued, normal pub. But on Saturday nights, it plays host to the Sausage Machine, a club which has started off bands such as Ride, the Inspiral Carpets and 530. They've now started up a label called Too Pure, and the first release on the label is going to be a live album actually recorded downstairs, including the likes of Mega City 4, Snuff and the Honey Smugglers. We're going to go downstairs now and talk to Richard and Paul of the label. Well, we're expecting hordes and hordes of people down here when the album comes out, and uh, I think we're going to increase the security by a uh, hundred, <laughs> and it'll fill the place out. No, it is it's what it's all about, roots, music. But, I mean, it goes back to, I mean, when we started it two years ago, Anyway, we needed somewhere small because we'd never done anything like it before. So, uh, basically, you know, it was an experiment. You can't start off at uh, Hammersmith Odeon, like, we're booking your, f your friend's band or whatever. So that's why it was just a small place that was just right to start with. Hold up. started it to put stuff on that we liked and um, fortunately it's worked out that we've got really good taste because <laughs> everyone else comes along and uh, modesty and season modesty. Yeah. so uh, you said it was two years ago I and mean, the reason we're here it's like two years on and uh, you've now decided to branch out further into record business and uh, form your own label oh, um, so using our daytime jobs uh, to, and abusing our daytime jobs I think we picked up a lot of experience and over the years I mean, we start from starting in a record shop I think both of us started in record shops different ones and yeah. worked our way up and learnt the tricks of the trade and thought well hang on a second you know there's, there's opportunities here we sort of got down here some good bands coming down that we're seeing first and might as well make the most of it yeah. and whilst uh, the record industry's moved to Manchester and we're cleaning up in London. <laughs> <laughs> Two sides to the way we in the first release is going to be actually a live album that was recorded down here. And I've heard some tracks. And it does sound like it was recorded at Hammersmith Odeon, but in fact it was recorded down here. I think people are going to be shocked <laughs> when they see us in all these places after I mean, they've heard sounds, it. I mean, it sounds very, very good, the album, I must yeah. admit. So what made you decide to do a, a live album? And I mean, we always come from it was going to come out as well as it has. We weren't. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted to... We wanted to uh, I mean, we wanted to set a label up as well, yeah. and it just seemed so natural that the two should be put together. Um, we weren't confident. It was a chance that we were taking. People laughed at us and thought, you're never going to do that. And people doubted. We were just on the way up here. We were talking about it and thinking, you know, people seem surprised that we've actually delivered the goods, you yeah. know. Uh, I think we are to a certain extent, but I think in, in the industry, there's a lot of, you know, people sort of saying, oh, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And because of what we've learned is that we said we didn't push it up. We didn't say it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be this. We just left it and see what happened. It just turned out to you know, be everything that we wanted and more. Yeah, and I think because all the way along it's been a do-it-yourself job, everyone was expecting a kind of do-it-yourself product at the end of it. But it's a bit better than that, really. Or oh, it's a good do-it-yourself. <laughs> After the live album and um, setting up the record company with that, then uh, you're also going to sign bands, aren't you? Um, and uh, yeah. the Faith Healers, yeah. which are casually plug, running plug, a promotional plug. t shirt, <laughs> uh, are going to be the first band. Well, why did you choose them as the first band on the label? What's their history? I mean, I think that they were the, by far the most exciting band that we'd seen in the previous eight to ten months. And we just want. We, when we had our first meeting, just felt that they were something that we wanted to do. You know? I mean, because this is the live venue, this is where we'd seen everything. 
they were the ones that stood out. They always provoke a reaction, don't they? Yeah, I mean, 85% of the Whether it's of the positive audience. or negative, I mean, I think that's always good. I can't... Yeah. Mediocrity is a bit, you know, nah, oh, they're OK, you know? Mm. But it usually did, like, split an audience down the middle. It'd be nice to um, do something else, think of a new idea. You know, yeah. We've done that, so what else could we do? I think, uh, to be honest, that is something that we're looking at. We're trying to think of something different to do again, yeah. because a lot of people doubted that we could do this. It hadn't been done for a long time because there was some, just too much hassle involved. Yeah. Uh, but we've managed to achieve this. I think the album sounds good. Right. And uh, we we'll want to look for something else now that no one's tried for a while. Mm -hmm. 